Hi, I'm Jessica from Balance Yoga and Wellness here in New Orleans. Today we're going to talk about foods to add to your diet to help you stay cool when you're in a very hot place. Generally raw foods are more cooling than cooked foods because they haven't been transformed and added that extra heat. They're also a lot more refreshing, they have a lot more water content so they'll naturally keep you cool. We're going to talk about three tastes that are very good in cooling to the body. The first is the bitter taste. The bitter taste is very detoxifying and cooling. It helps to draw toxins out of the tissues. You'll find the bitter taste in greens like collard greens. This is arugula. Um, you also find it in cruciferous vegetables like um, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. So favor the bitter taste when it's hot outside. Next one is the astringent taste. Now you must wonder what the heck is that because it's not something we talk about. Astringent helps to draw the tissues together. It helps, to help, helps them to heal as well. You find it in honey, um, but especially you find it in things like cucumbers. Um, so cucumbers are cooling. You can put them in your diet, but cut them up and put them on your face if you're feeling very hot or on your eyelids. Um, beans are actually um, astringent. Astringent and sweet in nature, but beans are very good when it's hot outside. Beans and lentils, they fill you up, but they don't give you too much fire like the fried foods and oils do. So these are also lentils, tor dal, mung dal here, but canned beans are okay. Try to buy organic ones uh, because some canned foods are lined with BPA, which is a hormone disruptor. So you want to be careful about which canned foods you eat, organic black beans. Um, and so the last thing we'll talk about are sweet foods. Now I'm not talking about popping Snickers bars and peanut butter cups, that's not what we mean. We mean unrefined sweet, sweet in its pure form. Um, so the first neutral sweet taste we think, you might not think of it, but whole grains, right? So whole grains should be the mainstay of your diet. Rice, oats, and quinoa, any whole grain, millet, amaranth, wheat, there are lots of them. Try to eat them in their least processed form, so as whole as possible, because then they contain all the fiber and nutrients. Other sweet foods are fruits. So we have our tropical fruits. Naturally, they grow in hot places, so they're very good for us. Papaya, they're good for cooling you down. Locally, we get more berries. They're also very good. Figs, these are dried, but fresh figs are especially excellent. And dates, dates are excellent when it's hot outside. Very cooling to the body, also very nourishing. Apples are great. Sweet potatoes are also great. They're another food local to us in Louisiana. Now some drinks we can add to the diet, which are also sweet. Coconut water, full of electrolytes, very good, very natural, very refreshing and cooling. Now, if you don't want to get the extra sugar, sugar, there are also electrolytes like Ultima. Um, I really like Ultima because it's made from fruit, naturally sweetened, low in calories, um, and it's natural. So a lot of the electrolyte drinks are made with ascorbic acid, which is actually made from corn. And a lot of the corn these days is genetically modified. So I prefer to stick to natural things to keep us sweet. Or you can just have a little bit of fruit juice with some sparkling water and it's almost like a cocktail without the alcohol. So thank you and I hope these things help you. See you next time. Bye.